Yes. Uh -huh. Violation date 616 of 2017. Mm -hmm. Officer number 638 of the Jefferson County Sheriff's Department. Yeah. <laughs> and then the complaint was a two-count criminal complaint under oath of certification by the deputy uh, prosecuting attorney. Yes. Cyber stalking. Uh-huh. Uh, no contact protection order violation. Mm -hmm. Now, this was the district court case number. Right. This was the actual bail. Yes. Mm -hmm. And this was the expiration of the warrant. Mm -hmm. Now, this would have expired in three years. Right. <laughs> but this expired in uh, six years. Oh. <laughs> How long should warrants be issued for before expiring? <laughs> Now, I thought $500,100 bail was a little much. Yes. And then since you issued this on 2016, yeah, mm -hmm. it would have expired in seven years. Pooh. Mm -hmm. But when you issued this on the 21st day of August of 2017, yes, uh, it issued in three years, uh, it expired in three years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Could you find out the actual amount of time that you can issue a warrant for arrest for? Mm -hmm. You know, I'm thinking that state law does not allow for the arbitrary changing yes. of the uh, expiration of warrant dates. Mm -hmm. Now, when we go through the warrants of arrest for the last 20 years, yes, of every individual that missed their court hearing, yeah, I just want to compare the actual date of its issuance, yes, 6th day of September 2016, yeah. The warrant expiration should be seven years, oh, six years, or three years. Ooh, is it at the discretion of the court? Yes, to decide yeah, how long a warrant will be issued for uh, before expiration of it. <laughs> now, let's say I ran. Poop! Mm -hmm. It's, uh, well, what day is it today? Oh, it's the 22nd of May of 2019. Mm. If I had ran, yes, I'd went to another state. Mm. I'd hid out for three years. Yes, yes, yes. It's possible that I could have uh, lasted longer than the expiration of the warrant for my arrest. <clears throat> now, when you think about it, yes, of all the warrants that have been issued in every county of the United States, <laughs> I'd like to know how many of them expired, yes, before you were able to arrest the individual, yes, for whatever the reason was that the warrant was issued, yes. Yeah. <laughs> And what state law says about how long can you issue a warrant for, mm -hmm. Judge Porter, seven years. Mm -hmm. You issued it for seven years. Good Christian man that you are right now. Judge Porter, you're the good Christian man, aren't you? Now, let's see, Judge Landis, ooch. Did it have to be three years? Oh, everything had to be three? Oh, are you using warrants for the arrests of those that are accused as a top secret way of getting paid? See, in the family, when you use a signature, oh, was this a photocopy? Because it says here, 822-2017, wanted person, initial 363. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But there is not the NCIC uh, entering in of this warrant. No, you gave me a copy that didn't have the actual information of the NCIC on it. Oh, oh, is that necessary when issuing? Oh, received September 7, 2016. <laughs> Pencom. Now, the initials, yeah, it's a... Oh. Are you using warrants mm -hmm. for the arrest of individuals to get paid for your signature? <laughs> you know, I realize that when you make a show out of the actual judicial system of the United States, yes, quite often if I sign this, you're paying me. Isn't that right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And it, it was why? Was, was that why? <laughs> Judge Porter, was it why? <laughs> Was your dog getting paid, yes, to issue a warrant for my arrest uh -huh, when I had communicated that I was cooperating? Yes. Now, if I had known 1023 Kitchen Dick Road, <laughs> well, did Mike pay? Yes, he did. Mm -hmm. Oh, so it was seven years. <laughs> 
because a good Christian pastor, Kingsway Four Square Church, <laughs> that happened to exploit his wife, yes, used the evil knowledge of what he was doing so as to harass Marilyn Van Prime. <laughs> now, I know we're talking about moral turpitude, but there's a possibility we might change the discussion today. <laughs> now, when it says here, oh, Jefferson County Sheriff's Department, yes, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Cyber stalking, poo. And I, yes, realized that you had obstructed all my emails for approximately two years. Yes. Did anybody um, send an email across county lines to a different sheriff's department from the Clallam County jurisdiction to the Jefferson County jurisdiction? As in, well, I want you to go over there and I want you to talk to her because. This is harassing, yes, it's harassing the petitioner. Really? Mm -hmm. How do you, as an American citizen, harass a petitioner by emailing police departments? Now, since it was uh, Jefferson County Sheriff's Department as the originating agency, mm -hmm. I was guessing yesterday... Uh, because you're the ones that issued the warrant for my arrest. Yes. And um, the, it says here, right, an email sent by Mr. Budnick, right, on Friday, June 16th of 2017, mm -hmm. to numerous recipients, including people at Heidi Budnick's workplace. Yes. You know, I was looking at those emails that I sent on that day. Demanding that uh, someone remove... Did, did you get today's email? Mm -hmm. I went online and there's still a protection order there and nobody's... Re well, this whole idea, right, that you, Corey Hall, are going to have me arrested knowing I wasn't there. Yes. And knowing I was in this library at that time. And then this whole idea that you're going to say I'm mentally incompetent, it's as if you don't understand the significance Uh, City of Squim. Ouch. Did you not look? Did you did you not see that I wasn't there? Mm -hmm. uh, who was it that I? Well, do do you not understand that you, you can't you can't use forgeries? Oh, <laughs> that the petitioner didn't actually sign this. Yes, <laughs> that technically ah, in legal jargon. Yes, there's no way you could have me tried for cyber stalking without the acknowledgement of the petitioner that she didn't want to receive communications from me <laughs> because 